Science 6. Volcanoes. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the basic structure of a volcano. Distinguish volcanoes according to shape, composition, and type of eruption. Classify volcanoes according to activity or volcanic life stage. Describe the changes of the Earth's surface as a result of volcanic activities. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust that release lava, rocks, ashes, and gases during an eruption. Inside the volcano is a magma chamber, which is a large underground pool of melted rocks. Molten rock inside this chamber is forcefully driven out by intense heat and pressure. The release of magma from the crater or the opening of a volcano is called volcanic eruption. A crater that becomes very large as a result of the collapse of its walls is called caldera. The magma that flows out on the Earth's surface is called lava. The lava flows as red, gray, or black materials out of a vent, or the side opening of a volcano. When a volcano erupts, it throws out lava together with gases, rocks, and ashes. P.E. Volks, Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, is the government agency that studies and monitors volcanic activities and earthquakes in the country. They also identify the danger zones in the vicinity of volcanoes. Volcanology is the study of volcanoes, lava, magma, and related volcanism. A volcanologist is a scientist who focuses on the study of volcanoes. The type of cone depends upon the chemical and physical nature of the materials expelled. There are three types of volcanic cones. 1. Shield volcano. It has a broad base with long, gently sloped sides. The cone is made up purely of lava that has poured out and solidified during a mild or quiet eruption. Cinder cone is a common type of volcano usually formed from explosive eruptions. They are symmetrical small volcanoes with narrow base and very steep slope. 3. Composite volcano or stratovolcano. Composite volcanoes are composed of alternating layer of pyroclastic materials and rocks from solidified lava flow. The side of this volcano is very steep because the thick lava during eruption is not able to flow very far down the slope before it cools down. Volcanoes can be active, dormant, or extinct depending on the possibility that they will erupt. 1. An active volcano is one that currently shows signs of unrest, has released lava in the past years, or is recently generating seismic activity like earthquake or significant gas emissions, which means that it may erupt again in the near future. Dormant volcanoes can still erupt, which means they still have magma supply and show one or few activities similar to an active volcano but have not erupted for over 500 years. Extinct volcanoes are those that are cut off from their supply of magma and often have not shown signs of eruption for over 10,000 years. Volcanologists rarely expect them to erupt in the future. Types of volcanic eruption 1. Strombolian eruption in this eruption, huge clots of molten lava burst from the crater into the sky. It looks like fireworks, displaying luminous arcs of fire. 2. Vulcanian eruption. It involves short, violent, and relatively small explosion of viscous magma. This involves the expulsion of ash-laden gas from the crater that rises high above the peak, forming whitish cauliflower-like clouds of ash at top of the cone. 3. Pelion, Nui Ardent Eruption Incandescent lava, together with ash and gas, are blown out from the crater, vertically upwards and falling again. The collapse or burst of lava dome forms its pyroclastic flow called Nui Ardent which spills like red glowing avalanches along the slopes can be very deadly and destructive. 4. Hawaiian Eruption This eruption occurs along a fracture, linear vent, with burning lava sprouting from the fracture. It can also occur in a central vent, in which case incandescent lava spurts out in the form of a fountain. 5. Plinian, or Vesuvian, eruption. It causes a violent ash-laden eruption, forming pipe-like structure of ash clouds that reach the stratosphere. Massive viscous lava goes along with ash and gas clouds, 
Wind action can spread the light lava and ash many miles away from the eruption point. Lahar, a violent flood-like volcanic debris flow forming from the collapse of the pipe-like eruption column, is highly possible in this type of eruption. The 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption is an example of Plinian volcanic eruption in our country. Practice Exercise What is an opening in the Earth's crust that releases lava, rocks, ashes, and gases during an eruption? The answer is volcano. What are the three kinds of volcanoes according to their cones? The answers are shield volcano, cinder cone volcano, and composite volcano or stratovolcano. What do you call the release of magma from the crater of a volcano? The answer is volcanic eruption.